Hey guys, this is Torna, and today we're going to be covering the Wakandas. Now, I wanted to quickly make this video to tell you guys I don't think it's worth it to upgrade the Wakandans because honestly, they require so many tier fours. Like, this is a ridiculous amount of tier fours that are required not to like make this team insanely great or anything like that, but just to kind of bring them online, you're still requiring so many different tier fours. So I'm going to go through each of the characters, show you which tier fours are required because there's an insane amount. There's obviously five new characters, uh, sorry, five reworked characters here, but they've locked so much of the, t like, new reworks and everything behind the tier fours that it's just insane to expect you guys to upgrade them or anything because they just have so much behind the tier fours so first of all shuri now she's got on her special here they made it so she's generating a whole lot more ability energy however it's requiring a tier four you need the tier four to be able to generate this additional four ability energy here her passive as well this is originally the way it was like there hasn't been any change to here but it's still a tier four that is going to be mega required because otherwise only three of your characters get this speed up and not having the tier fours like the speed up um, on spawn, not having the speed up on spawn for all your Wakandans is going to make them slower, meaning that you're just going to be kind of locked behind them. It does look like, as Punisher just said to me, they're kind of making the money off the tier fours rather than like the team, obviously, because there's no kind of rework, rec like no new characters or anything for this team yet. Black Panther as well. They've put the bleed here. It's still 90%. So this looks like it is a, the way it was originally. However, his special, the additional counter here is locked behind it. This part here though, like the additional speed bar fill is locked behind a tier four. And it's not like, oh, hey, you're going to get 10 or 20% without the tier four. No, you need the whole tier four because otherwise you're just not going to get that speed bar fill. And that's obviously incredibly important to make sure that they're going faster, getting more turns out but then in his passive they also made it so that the drain here is locked behind t4 as well Killmonger, they locked this part behind the tier 4. This is ridiculous. This part here where the rebound chain in Crucible, without the tier 4, you're not going to get that rebound chain. Now, I think that a lot of people have upgraded his ultimate just because he's a very strong character, but not having that option, like, when, when we talk to them, they're basically like, look guys, we locks, uh, we um, made this rework to Killmonger and gave it him the fact that he gets the rebound chain in Crucible because it feels bad to hit his ultimate. But now now they're making it so that you need the tier four to be even able to do that. It's crazy. Um, the rest of Killmonger didn't get too many changes though, but Mimbaku is kind of like the first, like between Mimbaku and Okoye, they're the ones that piss me off the most because they locked the defense up the defense up behind the tier four here. Like, it's not like, oh, hey, we're going to gain one defense up and then two with the tier four or anything. It's just literally, you don't gain defense up from his special without the tier four, which just makes it incredibly important and re incredibly required. They made it so that he doesn't even apply the vulnerable on the second attack here without the tier four. And this part here, we're lowering the enemy armor this reminds me a lot of the Pimtech rework where all of the stuff for Dark Dimension was locked behind the tier fours and you're looking at Ant-Man and Wasp and they're not even incredible characters and you have to be like, okay, so I have to put the tier four even to be able to use them in that game mode. This is what they've done. They've locked most of the Cosmic Crucible stuff behind the tier fours. In fact, I think all the Cosmic Crucible stuff, almost all of it, this part here with his... Alt, uh, sorry, his passive here, that's not locked. Most of the Cosmic Crucible stuff is all locked behind tier fours. So that's so dumb. All right. And then finally, Okoye here. They made it so she only clears one positive effect with her basic until it's tier four. This part here is allowed. That's allowed in Crucible. That's fine. But then in her ultimate, they made it so the revive once requires tier fours. That's so dumb. <laughs> It's so harsh. And then here, they made it so the lowering of drain also requires the tier four. There's just like, let's have a look. So we're going to count up the ones that are basically essential. Like they're the ones that to run and bring the team online and make them do what they need to do to be able to counter stuff like Infinity Watch and stuff. So that's one, two, I'd argue three, four, five, probably six, seven, 
potentially eight because this part here is incredibly important once you have main Baku because they're just going to get so much defense up and that's a whole lot of their damage there. You've got this one here, nine, 10, 11. Let's say, let's ignore this one. So 10 still, 11, 12. That's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous amount of tier fours for a team that is for a new game mode that we don't even know the rewards of yet. It even then, I don't think the rewards are going to be worth you guys chucking in so many tier fours into this. This is like a legendary team amount of tier fours required. This is meant to be like, if I'm putting this many tier fours into a team, I want a team that's on par with like weapon X in that game mode or on par with like new warriors in that game mode or something like a team that is the top, top, top of that game mode. But this is not that team. Wakanda is not going to be the apex cosmic crucible team. Do not, I do not suggest you guys invest into them until you know for sure the complete rewards and you have the option of pissing away a whole lot of tier fours because it's crazy. On top of that, you've also got the fact that they're gears. You've got a tech, but these two here are both mutants and, uh, sorry, both mystical characters. They also are locked into one game mode. Uh, thank you for that punish. We're locked into one game mode. And on top of that, they also all require the same tier, uh, sorry, the same unique uh, material. They all require vibranium as well. Um, I believe, I believe they all require vibranium, which is just crazy. You shouldn't, I do not think you should be investing in this team unless you are someone who is a super whale or if you are, you can slowly invest into them if you get spare tier fours, but I, I don't think it's going to be worth it for you guys to go heavily into this game. I, I'm willing to be proven wrong for this game to completely dom, like for this team to completely dominate in the game mode, but I don't know. We'll see. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. That's it for today. Have a great day and goodbye.